Let me just get the recorder. Hi, right, everybody. Welcome. My name is Fausto Puglisi from CyberTrade University. Welcome here. We're here to talk about dark pools, block trades, iceberg orders, all the ooh, scary things that you heard about, which is actually right at your fingertips. And we're going to show you exactly how to find them. Uh, we're going to talk a little about what was moving in the market, how to control certain trades, how everything works. And the thing that we're going to focus on is this is going to be a, a very interactive uh, type of a webinar. We're going to go for about 40 minutes. It's going to go fast. Okay. So I'm going to ask questions. If you want to learn, you got to talk. All right. So just make sure you have your, fi your fingers ready to type in the keyboard. We're going to do a couple of uh, polls, a couple of that stuff. And we're just going to have a lot of fun because the goal is, is to, you know, you need to learn before you can earn. But before we get started, just quick little disclaimer, um, just trading various student to student. We're not going to make any promises or warranties that works. So just please be very smart and be very educated um, before you start making your trades in today's volatile markets. Now, this is what we're going to cover to let you all know. We're going to talk about how institutions high orders, you know, back in orders. How do I know that? Because I was one of them. I was a market maker. I'm going to trade you how they do it. We're going to also talk about stocks that we traded this week, what made some big moves, we're also going to look at some of the stocks that you've traded, and I'm going to show you where those orders are, because a lot of you are focusing on the past, a lot of you are focusing on maybe uh, an option. Well, we're going to focus on the future. We're going to show how they're going to follow uh, order flow. We're going to see how we're going to be able to predict where these stocks are going before they get there. And most importantly, we're going to talk about price action and order flow. So everything that you probably would never knew existed is now going to kind of make sense. Now, just to let you know a little bit about myself, um, and before we do that, I just want to go over a couple of things with you on some stocks that we're moving in today's markets. So what we're going to cover is we're going to look at stocks like this, okay? we're gonna. There are some big movers that we had. We had stocks like Coinbase, uh, went from 92 to 100. Uh, we had AMC that had bad earnings. It dropped down to $8 to about 930 uh, space, very inexpensive stock, went from $1.72. Now, what you're probably looking at is like, well, why did these stocks go up? What drove them up? Well, I'm just going to give you a little taste of what we're going to be doing. All right. So let me just show you something really quick right here. I'm going to start off with AMC. Hold on one second here. Just trying to organize something. All right. So... AMC, just going to give you a little taste. Can everyone? I'm going to ask everybody a dumb question, and every that's going to lets me know if you're paying attention or not. At what price did AMC bounce this morning? What price did the stock bounce? Um, at, at, at what price did it bounce at? Let's see if you all can answer this question. Very simple question. Red, you're right. Cosimino, you're right. Mike, you're wrong. Bill, you're wrong. John, you're right. Diane, what about you? David, I haven't heard from you. Caesar, Brittany. Well, we're looking at you're looking at the chart right now. You're looking at it. Tell me where we bounced from, Paul. Paul says no information. I, what do you mean? The, the chart's right there. Michael, you're wrong. Michael, say you're wrong. Okay. So let me just point this out. You all said right here, okay? It went all the way down when it started this morning, came all the way down. It bounced right around here, around $8. And it hovered there from 9.30 to 9.30. Uh, 9 to 9 it hit it, it hit it, it hit it. Finally, it went up. And the stock went up all the way to a price um, from $8 to 9.20. Now, follow along. 10.15. To 9.30 is about 45 minutes. That stock bounced about $1.25, right? $1.25 times that by 1,000 shares of an $8 stock comes out to be $1,250. You do that over the course of the year, Right? Give or take, you're talking a little bit over 300K, okay? Now, not bad. Not bad for a stock that had bad earnings and bounced off eight. Now, here is the $64,000 question. 
And this is where you all have to be able to answer this question. Why did it bounce at $8? What made it go? Like you literally had 30 minutes to figure that out. Jeff, you're correct. Reggie, you're right. Terrence, you're right. John, you're right. Bill, you're completely wrong. Not an indicator. I made it run up. All right. I'm going to show you something really quick right here. And uh, hold on. How do I do They just clear, clear all drawings. Do you see right here at 930? Do you see this right here? That at that time was 100,000 share buyers. See that red line? When it came down to that price of $8, it shot right back up. Now, let me just fix something here. One second. Hold on. Let me do something to make it a little bit easier. Look what happened in pre-market. It came down. Hit this buyer, had a little bit of a buyer there. Once the market opened up, the buyer showed up at nine to eight dollars and it went to eight dollars and nine forty. Now, anybody here use an indicator? Hmm? Anyone use an indicator? Hold on a second. Oops, that was not what I wanted to show you. Let's go out there and add in a moving average, a stochastic, an RSI, a Bollinger band. Am I missing anything? Ooh, MACD, I heard those are really important. All right, that looks like enough. Okay, does that answer your question? All those little fancy dancy indicators, did that tell you that support levels was at $8 or was that 100,000 share buyer that showed up, showed you where that $8 where you could have made that dollar move? What was easier to understand and comprehend? Well, guess what? That is why you're here today. I'm here to teach you not to focus on the past, but I'm going to focus on the future. And the future is, is Terrence and Mike and Margaret and John and Doug, who didn't answer me back yet. Okay. It's about following the buyers and sellers. And that's what trading is all about. So let's get right into it and have a little fun here. All right. Because I've been doing this for 30 years. I love teaching people. Um, but more importantly, I love making, you know, learning and teaching people how to figure it out on their own. Um, but to do it right, you got to know how to play the game. And that's why over the years I've competed against every school in the industry. I beat every school I went up against. Okay. And not only that, but over the years, you know, we were featured on Ford's magazine as a bunch of kids tormenting wall street. I was also wrote a book from Wiley, which by the way, Everybody that sticks around, I'm going to give you a copy of my book for free, which is going to teach you how to beat these market makers. So you don't want to go anywhere. All right. Now, um, just yesterday, I don't know if anyone was here. I'm also featured on NASDAQ. Um, they want you to learn how to trade their platform. They want you to learn how to trade the market. You know, if you know what you're doing, guess what? You're going to trade longer. You do more trades, more volatility in the market. Everyone's happy because these exchanges, these brokerage firms, it is, it's it's very expensive acquisition costs to, to get clients. The last thing they want you to do is blow up your account. And you know, some of you here probably been there and done that. And that's why you're here today. So hopefully in the next 30 minutes, you are going to be some of those people that are standing around and be part of the Cyber Training University community because that's what we're here. We're looking to find traders, teach you how to trade so we all could trade together like one big happy family. So why are, why are institutions hiding their activity? Let's talk a little bit about that. Let's get into the fun part of it. Well, you have to understand, trading is a game. And the game is, you know, are they crossing orders with their own brokerage firm? Maybe they're, they're trading, you know, Goldman Sachs is, you know, doing a trade within their, bro their traders from one client to the other. It could, be, it could be BlackRock. It could be anyone. It could be Vanguard, any of these brokerage firms. But you have to understand that it's not about just the dark pools. It's about the big block trades that drive these stocks up, like I just showed you in AMC. That's what drives these things that make these supports and resistance levels. And those resistance levels and support levels are what we call iceberg orders, big block orders. And that is what's going to drive these things going up and down. And you know and I know, and you probably knew in the back of your mind, they're like, my God, that kind of makes sense. There has to be a reason why it goes up. Now, what I'm going to show you is how 70% of the market has been driven up with these iceberg orders. And it's up to you to be ready 
to see it live in the market. Now, I'm going to invite every single one of you, all of you, to watch everything that we preach right now, okay, in the next 30 minutes. But I don't want to waste your time. I don't want you to waste my staff's time. And I don't want to waste my, waste my trader's time in the room. I am looking for serious traders that, you know, have been doing this, still can't figure it out, but know after they see what's going on, they're like, that's something I want to learn. So don't go anywhere. We're going to cover that. So let's talk about a couple of things really quick. And let me show you the style of what Cyber Trading University does, how we actually trade today's market. So the market's been on a big uptrend, okay? Even as much as you might think it's been hovering, it's been trending down, and it has been trending down. Right now, it's basically over this course of 10 years, we're, we're almost 16,000 is an all-time high, okay? And we're we're really not that far away from it. Yeah, since July, we've been making lower lows, but the market always finds a way. Corporations always find a way. But it's you to know exactly how to find those things. Now, it's been a really big week in the past two weeks. This is earnings season. A lot of big companies came out with earnings. And I don't know if you know this, but 80% of them beat earnings, okay? And all they do is they just raise prices. Now, as a consumer that might tick you off. And as a consumer, you always think like, I'm always getting screwed. I just actually was watching on TV. They said that, you know, all these streaming, you know, Netflix, uh, Paramount, Disney Plus, they're all going to raise their rates. You know, if they raised everyone by a dollar, you know how much money they make? Okay. So the thing is, we benefit from that. I mean, Disney was up about $5 today, you know, because of that news. We, you know, so you can't take things personal. And I know everyone here wants to do this as a job. You just got to know why they're going up and who's running up. And yes, uh, Mark said he did pretty well on the Affirm trade. Good profits on Disney and Affirm. We're going to talk. Affirm was a good trade today, by the way, Mark. That was a lot of fun. But let's talk about some other things. Let's talk about Uber really quick. So Uber, I try to keep things very simple. And you could see Uber had a really good move. Start around 1030 this morning. By within an hour, the thing ran from 47 to 50 bucks, right? Trip, nice little run, 1030, ran from 1680 to 1840. I don't know if anyone here ever traded trip, you know, but listen, if it's going up, less risk, high reward, why not? DraftKing, another stock. I don't know if you guys ever traded it, but from 930, ran from 2950 to $34, you know, by the end of the day. See, there are so many stocks that are moving, okay? But you just got to know, why they continue to go higher? Is it too late to jump in them? It's all about following orders, okay? Now, just out of curiosity, here you hear about all those stocks regarding about they came out with earnings. But let's talk about this stock right here. Did anyone see LIFW? Did anybody see what happened with that stock this week? It, started, it was actually on Monday. Brian says, oh, yeah. You, you heard about that. Terrence, you didn't hear it, see we're, John, we're going to talk about how we find those orders. Okay, we didn't get there yet. Okay. Brittany, no. Nope, haven't seen it. Okay, now, first of all, I don't know what the company is. I don't really care. Does it even matter? But what does matter is this. This start, stock started at 9 o'clock and 9.30 in the morning when the market opened up, around $3. It ran to 9. And then when it got around, uh, once it got around uh 11.30, it ran from 9 to 16 in one day. Now, some of you are like, okay, why is it it's manipulated? Who gives? Who cares? Do you really care? Because you would have made more money on this than trade Microsoft or Roku or Netflix or any of them. This stock bounced literally up over 400% just in one day, right? Now, you might not might ask yourself these couple of questions. How do I find these stocks? What drove them up? How would I have known? And why is it, if you look now, why is it down? Okay. Well, I don't know about you fellow traders, but what I want to get to make you realize is that I'm a day trader. And as day traders, we don't care what we trade. We're just here to make money. That's what it is. Whatever's moving and good volatility and good high frequency trades, we're there. And then what's nice about what we do is we're always in cash. Now, I know some of you here are swing traders. I know some of you here are options traders. And I don't know if you know this, but if you're doing one of those, it's a lot more riskier than you day trade. 
because day trades just make your days pay. Now we do swing trade. We do day, we do options in our trading room, but it all starts by the movement of the stock that makes those stocks turn into a swing trade and then turn to an options trade. So the big thing we have to understand is that we got a couple of rules that we apply. Number one, we don't hold over all overnights. And the reason why is that if you hold stocks overnights, you could wake up the next morning and you could blow up your account. The second biggest carnal rule is we don't um, do averaging out. Because the big thing is there are a lot of stocks that are moving, but the biggest issue most people have is they don't know how to take a loss. That is one of the, that's one of the mistakes that people make when it comes to trading. So what we need to stop doing is focusing on the past and start focusing on the future. And the future is where are the big orders? Because that's what drives and makes a support level and a resistance level. So let's touch about this really quick. Now I wanna do a quick poll. Um, just give me a second right here. Uh, do I have the polls here? No, I don't know why I don't have that poll set up here. Uh, no, I don't have it. Okay, so my question to everyone here is this. Um, does anyone here have level three or level four? Just give me a yes or no. Brittany, you don't have it. John, you know, Terrence. Wow, we've got a lot of no's. Got two people that say yes. Oh, there we go. Do you have level three access, which is what I call? Let's start off with that. Let's do a quick poll. There we go. And we'll share that poll with everybody. Now, wow. Okay, this is interesting. Never heard of it. Only level two. Oh, John, John G, don't worry about it. You're not the only one that's been there and done that, okay? So, um, but what you're going to do, John, is you're probably going to be very, what you're about to learn right now is going to be very disturbing because you're going to see how traders trade. And, that, and, and what I mean by traders, I'm talking about market makers, traders that work for brokerage firms, okay? So let me end my results and let me just show, let me share the results with you. Look how many people here do not have level three access. You, like you said, some of you have level two, some of you have level one, meaning you see the bid and offer. So let's talk about what it is and um, what is, what is uh, level level three, level four. So um, actually yesterday I was on NASDAQ. I was talking about level three. I'm one of their, you know, one of the biggest champions when it comes to using their system. Um, but, um, but basically... NASDAQ, um, we're going to talk about NASDAQ book viewer really quick. All right. Now, what you have right here is this. And let me get my crayons here again. So right here, you have buyers. And here you have sellers. Okay. Now, it looks quite confusing because you see a lot of numbers, but it's not really that complicated. These are, this is the price, meaning the bid where someone's willing to buy it. This is the amount of shares that are looking to be bought at that price. And these are how many orders make up those shares. Whoever wants to buy for the most amount of money is up on top. Whoever wants to buy for less money is down at the bottom. Same thing for the sell side. Whoever wants to sell their shares for the least amount of money is up on top. Whoever wants to sell their shares for more money is down here at the bottom. So what you're looking at is a big chat room and people negotiating what they want to buy and sell. Now, what you're looking at right here, I want this to sink in your head. You are seeing the total book of every trade that's going on in the entire world on the NASDAQ and market trading Peloton. You could see this on every single stock out there. So how do we utilize this data? Um, oops, there you go. All right. Let me show you how it works. We're looking at a stock PLTR. Now, PLTR started around $15, okay? And you could see it right here. When it hit $15, it came all the way down, and it stopped right around here at these numbers, right around this $14.50-ish price. Now, why did it go down so fast and decide it wants to stop going lower when it got close to that 50, 50 cents low around that $14.50. Why not $14? Why not $14.75? Why did it pick 
that specific number. And the only reason why is that there must have been buyers out there. And those buyers, if you look right here on the buy side and you work your way down, you'll notice that right down here at the bottom at this price is that buyer of 53,000 shares. There's 21 orders out there at 1470, 1445. Now, I don't know about you, but you got 4,000 shares, 3,000 shares, 800 shares, 100 shares. Even why is that guy wasting his time? Oh, my God. Three shares. 56,000. Okay. You're talking, you're not talking chump change. You're talking over, you're talking over, you know, I don't know how much money that is. What is that? Seven, $700,000 worth of stock made up of 21 different people. I don't know about you, but if I want to look for support levels, I need to find where the buyers are first. This is where everybody does things backwards. You always look for support levels, but the support level is not always indicative of the future. You know what I'm saying? If you had support levels in the past, then that same past should be the same buyer that's in the future. And you're seeing the future. So because you know and I know, stocks, you think you're at a support level. Like, wait a minute, how did that stock break a support level? Well, we'll get to that. All right, now let's go to the next example here. Sellers. Sellers make resistance levels. Now we're looking at a stock Pinterest. Stock started this morning, went from like $27, $27.70, decided to go all the way to 30 bucks in less than 30 minutes. And then it decides it doesn't want to go anywhere. It just dies. Why did it die? Why after, you know, after it got to this price, and for the next you know, hour, never want to get past 30. Well, it's kind of common sense. Sellers must have prevented from going higher. And when you look over here on the right, exactly, Brittany, you look here at $30 and you got a 91,000 share seller, 77,000 or 70, 76 orders out there. I mean, who do you think is going to make more resistance? The 700 share seller, the 600 or the 91,000? So... Think about how much smarter and better trading decisions if you would make if you knew where these 91,000 share orders are. These are your algorithms. These are your limit orders. These are your dark pools that you've been looking for. So ask yourself a question. How many of you here are seeing these 91,000 share orders out there on a stock that you're trading today? Is anybody watching it? Anybody see those orders out there? I didn't think so. Terrence, no. Brittany, no. Dan, what about you? David, no. John says, oh my God, I really need to learn how, where I get access to level three, important data. John, I didn't even scratch the surface yet. Okay. Let me just share that. I love that. Nice little chat. Appreciate that. I'm glad your eyes are open. Okay. Because we have over a hundred people in here and I think everybody's eyes should say the exact same thing that John G just said. Okay. Because this is why people lose money in the market. And now I'm going to show you how to stop losing it because you got to know how to play the game. But don't worry, we got we got a lot more to go. What slide we're up? 34, we're halfway there. Let's go over a couple examples and show you some, you know, and show you what we've done in the past. Here's the stock of firm, okay, that we traded. A firm's going down. All right. Now, my question to you, everybody, and you need to interact. And by the way, if you don't answer these questions, Number one, that tells me you don't know what you talk, you don't know what you're doing, so you shouldn't be trading. And if you're afraid to get it wrong, don't worry about it. No one's going to yell at you. You're better off getting it wrong here than doing it with your own money in the market. So let's look at a firm. Stock is going down. What is going to make this stock go up? What is this going to make to go higher? Buyers, right? Can everyone write that in there? Everybody write buyers, please. Just so I know you're alive. Nick, what about you? Paul, I hate I hate calling people out. <laughs> Just say it. Okay. Buyers, right? Thank you very much. Dan, David, good. All right. Do you see buyers on a chart? Yes or no? So what the hell are you using a chart for? What's the purpose of having a chart? Okay, because a chart is what's happened in the past. You need to read the future. OK, so we got to have a game plan. So I'm going to change the slide. Now, 
we're going to go to the NASDAQ book viewer. And you'll notice right here that if the stock is going down, we need buyers. Now, I need to look at the buy column. And I'll notice there's buyers at every single price level. But the biggest order I find out there is right here at 2196. There's 24,000 shares out there. And to answer your uh, question, one of you asked me, are these, are these real orders? Let me tell you something. Of course, they're real. And you're going to see it live. First of all, are you allowed to put fake orders with your brokerage firm? Listen, I know somebody could cancel them. You anyway could cancel them, but I don't know if all these people are in cahoots with each other. Okay. Listen, if you would think that anything, if you think that you're involved in a business with liars and cheaters, okay, what the hell are you doing in the market? What the hell are you doing in any business? I, I, I'm, I'm in the process of buying a brand new car. You don't think the guy's lying and cheating at me? I just, just got to know how to play the game. That's your problem. Okay. Those are real orders. So whatever you think, and if you're questioning it, don't worry about it. We're going to resolve that situation when you come into our trading room. But my point is this, that is a real order. And if I was thinking of anything of knowing where that support levels, I would be focused at 2198. And guess what? What happened when it hit 2198? It hit it, it went up. 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 I mean, you had literally had about an hour to figure that out. That it wasn't getting past this twenty one ninety, whatever twenty two dollars, whatever it is twenty two dollars. And guess what? If you bought it at twenty two and you sold it at twenty two seventy, you made yourself seventy cents on a thousand shares. That's seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred over the course of the year is a two hundred thousand dollars salary. Who here doesn't want that job? Okay, that's what it's all about. So let's look at DraftKings. Another stock earnings came out on DraftKings. So DraftKings got a nice push up. Okay. Now you ever own a stock, you're like, oh, you're like, you know what the hardest part about draft, you know, like owning a stock? You're like, you always get greedy. You're like, maybe I can make a little bit more. Maybe I can make a little bit more. Oh my God, it's going higher. Ooh, I got so much money. Do I, do I sell it? Do I hold on to it? Okay. What is going to stop this stock from going higher? Mark said I traded it. Okay, good. Mark, but did you know where to get out? What do we need? Oh my God. You guys are like geniuses, sellers, right? Like, like it's like common sense, right? It's like, yeah, we need sellers. You don't need a Bollinger Band. You don't need a a, a stochastic. You don't need a, a you know whatever a, a candlestick. You know you don't need like a, the three bars or a Schenken, whatever it is. Or maybe these people have these fancy names, which are all basically designed by engineer, you know, mathematicians. We need sellers. So guess what? Let's go to NASDAQ. Let's get the book. And we'll see right here. I'm looking for sellers. Can anybody tell me where the sellers are? Where are the sellers? Oh, I can't forget about the Fibonacci. Yeah, of course. Right, Brian? Where are sellers? What price? Really? Wow. Look at that. Michael, Jeff, you're right. John, Terrence, everyone. Wow. You all said the same thing. You're right. 34.18. I would not say this guy at 34.10. I would not say this guy at 34.90 at 67. The 37,000 at 34.18. I agree. And guess what? What did it do? It went right to that seller out there and it came right back down because if you didn't get out there and got out at 34.18, you just rode the stock down to 33. Now, you know and I know. How many times have you bought a stock and like, damn it, I got greedy? Damn, or let's say you chase the stock. And you're like, I don't understand. Things going up. It's doing great. The, the MACD is, is so far away from the 200 moving average. Now, all of a sudden, things reversing on me. Well, how are you going to work on a 200 moving average when you don't see the damn seller out there for 34000 37000 Because that ain't going up and higher until that guy moves out of the way. So now you could not only could you throw away a nice profit, but for some of you, you chased it, you could throw a winner and be, could now become a big loser. Now, who here would like to get the NASDAQ book viewer? Great. Now, this is what I want to tell you, okay? I don't work for NASDAQ, okay? I'm just here. I'm just a messenger. That's all I am because I hate seeing people get caught up with, you know, trading and get involved with the wrong people and losing money. This is the NASDAQ exchange. You guys 
have a seat on the exchange. Now, when I started, I used to have to pay $1,000 a month for this. Now, this is 30 years ago. Could you imagine telling a 22-year-old to come up with $1,000 a month? You know what $1,000 30 years ago is today? It's probably like three, four grand. How many of you here are jumping out of your seats are like, I'll pay that, I'll pay that. I know it's a lot of money back then, but you know what? I live here in New York. I know everybody's in the trading business and I'm like, well, listen, these guys are driving nice cars. These people live in well. I mean, obviously they're doing something right. What are they doing that most people are doing wrong? They don't have a seat on the exchange. Well, guess what? It doesn't cost a thousand dollars anymore. It doesn't cost 500. It doesn't cost a hundred. Okay. It cost $15 to have a seat on the exchange. So if anyone here would like to know where to get it, here's my email. And um, just send me an email and I'll send it to you. Because I want to send you a video on how to set it up. All right? Now... If you want it, this is now this is where all of you need to know if you're going to continue at Cybertrain University and stick around with this webinar or you're not. And once again, don't take it in a bad way. I'm a little brash, but I'm just being very honest. If you don't think paying $15 to see where 50% of the volume of the stock that you're in, you shouldn't be in this room and you actually shouldn't be trading. Let me just warn you, everyone. You can't learn from watching YouTube. You can't learn by reading the paper and listening to people on TV, okay? Nothing is free. Do you work for free? Do you work for free? Oh, my brokerage firms give you free data, free this, free that. Oh, free tickets. Really? Did you ever ask them, how did they make money? I, I, you know, I still can't get a straight answer. I know how they make money. And we're going to teach you in our class how they screw you. You think, you, you know what? I would, I would pay you for your order. They give it to you for free? How about if I pay you a cut? That's what they're doing. They're trading against you, fellow traders. And how do I know that? Because in my book, when I give it to you, it's going to show you how to beat market makers in their own game. For $15, why in the mind is anyone here would not want that? I still can't figure that out. So you thought that was interesting? Let's talk about level four. Now, I was at the I was at the Nasdaq Center. I was on TV yesterday, and then one of the one of the analysts on TV to like, he says he's using it using level three. He's like, wait, a minute, I didn't know there was level four. B listen, great traders never stop learning. Let's talk about level four now. So level four, what you're going to see is everything on the level three, but more. You go. Oh, by the way, I just got a couple of emails. I'm, I, you hear my phone ringing. Uh, Jeff Tarter, I got your registration. Uh, you're interested. Thank you very much. John G, got it. You're more than welcome. I'm going to send it to you. Uh, Gen V, A, got your, got your email. Thank you very much. Just looking at my phone. You guys just text me. Okay. Seven people? Come on. There's 100 people in here. You guys didn't email me. You're still not interested? You're still, you're still not convinced? I'm going to give you my phone email one more time. Just... Email me right now if you're interested. I'm, I'm actually insulted that only seven people emailed me right now that they want to know how to get that $15, you know, and, uh, you know, to have a seat on the exchange on the NASDAQ. You get this from NASDAQ, not from me, not from Goldman, not, not from TD Ameritrade, not from Schwab, not from Trace. You get it from NASDAQ, the source of where they get their data from. So I don't know what you guys are waiting for, but okay, now I hear my phone ring. You're probably hearing it ring now. Good. Uh, Kathleen, just email me. Don't, don't put your email in there. You have to email me. No, Elon, you don't have to open up an account. Absolutely not. You don't open an account. First of all, I don't want you guys to trade. I want you to learn. You know what I'm saying? So, well, one of you already joined up. That's good. Okay. I get it. <laughs> all right. So anyway, let's get to level four now. Okay. So level four is more of a heat map where You'll see everything on the right, which is the current order book, which is on the right. But now you're going to see on a heat map. So let's look at this. Let's look at level four and let me show you what I mean. So looking at SoFi. SoFi reported earnings this week, you know, last week. Uh, after it, it had a nice pop and then it backed off. So 
Where is support on SoFi? Well, you can see right here, SoFi, when it had that big pullback, it came all the way back down here to a 90,000 share buyer. And you could see this line, which is nice because you could see how long he was out there for. And if he's adding to his position, if he's canceling out. And not only that, but by seeing that order out there, you could see why that stock continued to go higher. That's the beauty of that. What do you think happens while that stock is going higher? Well, more buyers show up. Look at I own and Q. Stock is going down. Right here, you can see that there was a big buyer at 15 and also at 14.90. Here's the current order book. You know, listen, there are buyers at every price. And, I, and this is where I think people get a little bit of a uh, discouraged. Those numbers move really quickly. And I know that's one of the big, big discrepancies people have about, you know, trading, you know, these type of markets. Like, I don't know, this looks too fast. Yeah, I know it is moving fast. But imagine if you had a heat map that lined it out for you. So you don't have to be so focused on it because by seeing them get out there and see them get executed, that's what makes things go up and go down. Let's talk AMD. Um, AMD, very well known. Another company came out with earnings. AMD went all the way up, came to about $1.70, hit a resistance, came right back down, hit another resistance, which is at 107. Why did it go to 107? Backed off to 105. Now it's back at 107 for one simple reason, because of the 83,000 share seller. And he's been out there, which by the way, by the way, I don't know if you hear my phone ringing and ringing, ringing. Uh, uh, now, now I'm seeing everybody registered. There we go. Now I feel a little bit better. Listen, this makes me happy. This makes me very, very happy because it shows that people are starting to realize you have an interest and you got to learn how to, you, you, need, you need to know what we're, what we're looking at here. So yes. Not only that, but now we're seeing it on the heat map. So now you're seeing the orders out there, but now you're seeing it, you know, on a color-coded chart. Because I know people love to read charts. And the thing is this, if you don't know where those sellers are, and also another thing you need to know, if you don't know if those sellers are going to get executed, because we know stocks break resistance levels and support levels all the time, it's about following and seeing if it's going to continue to happen by seeing those orders out there. So... And and those and those orders are going to come and go. So is there a strategy behind that? Yes, it's called refreshing. It's called consolidation. You know, you got to remember there are a lot of people trading out there. You know, there's over 20 million people who trade a day. 20 million people. You only know and that's not that's just individuals like you and I. You only know that's not even counted. And we only make about 20, 30 percent of the volume. 70% is being run by Goldman Sachs, Merrill Lynch, BlackRock, all those hedge funds out there, all of them. And they all use the same system. They trade on the market just like you. So let's look at that. So let's go check. Let's have some fun. Let's, let's, look at the, let's go look at the real market hours, okay? Now, does anyone here have any stocks you want me to look at? Anyone here have a stock? We're going to check some stuff stuff out. I'm going to show you how this stuff works. We're going to practice what we preach. Tesla. Uh, let me look at Tesla. Hold on. First of all, let me take off these indicators because it's giving me a headache. I hate those things. All right. Look at Tesla. Okay. Tesla is getting really beat up right now. I like that. Good one. All right. Um, but I got to bring up the level four on Tesla, which is going to take a little time. A lot of data on it. I want to have it on my level four. Tesla, look it up. Yeah, Tesla's taking a nice big hit right here. And let me just load up the data here. You can see it's loading up. It's going to take a little time. What else we got? BKNG, TBLA, AMAT. Okay, here we are. We're looking at Tesla. Now, I like Tesla. I'll tell you why, because it's like the most popular stock looked on the internet. Now, let's look at Tesla really quick. I'm going to zoom out. And let me go a little bit further. Now, what's going on with Tesla today? What's happening with Tesla? 
I know it's a dumb question. I need a dumb answer. It's going down, right? It's dropping. Now, you ever own a stock that keeps dropping and like, okay, when's this going to stop? Is it going to continue to go lower? I mean, it took a really big hit. It went from 220. It's already down to 209. It's down about 10 bucks, okay? And you ever like, do I sell it now? Do I get out? I mean, all this stuff could be very, you know, uh, very stressful. So I'm going to draw some trend lines here. And you could see it like it kind of hovered here around a buck 17 and then kind of hovered here around like it was at 215 then it broke that support levels then it went down to right around here around 213 it just keeps going lower and once it broke that low it kind of went even lower now it's down to 209 okay um There was a, and then it, even like we get, even we like even micromanage it a little bit, even like right around here, around 210, kind of hold right there. Everybody see that? Okay. Does everybody agree with me by seeing that this was resistance, this was support, resistance, 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 support, support, support. It broke through support, went through a new support, resistance. Right here. Now we're at a new support. Okay. Does everybody agree with me? Very, very simple. All right. Okay. Now, watch this. Uh, let me move this over here for you. Oh. Okay. So you see these red lines right here? See this right here? That was a bug buyer at 215. That was right here, okay? You could see it. Once that buyer got done, what happened? It went lower. Then you could see right here at 213, which is right around here, there was a line there that was a buyer. Then there was another buyer at 211. Then there was a really big buyer at 210. If I move this over, let me show you what it is. That buyer... was a hundred and see it right there about a hundred thousand at 210 okay there was another buyer at 211 so between 211 and 210 there was about close to about 170 thousand shares okay that right there is right here that's that number right there right here everybody see that right there uh right here that's right there that's that support levels right there. Now at 215, which is right around here, everybody see that? That was this right here. And I hope I'm not moving too fast, everyone here. But that order was that order right here. And that buyer right there was at 147, okay? Once that buyer got done, he got executed, which you could see here. When you when you break through a big support level, big buyer, guess what? It's going lower. That's not that's not chump change. You're talking a serious order right there, and that's why the stock went down. So let's think about it. If you saw that you had now, let's put this in perspective. Let's just say you saw a big buyer out there for 150 thousand shares. You're like, ooh, that's good. That's good for me. Big buyer, big support. But if that buyer got executed, someone says. You want the 150? Sold. And you see that transaction happen? Do you want to own? And you're like, oh, that's this stock is definitely shit. That's a good buy right there because there's a lot of other people buying it. If that guy gets executed, that's not a good sign. You know when it's a good sign? When he doesn't get executed. That's a good sign. But in this sign, he did get executed, and that's a bad sign. And that's why the stock kept going lower and lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. And there were buyers every price, but they kept getting executed and executed and executed. Now, you're probably asking yourself, okay, so we're looking at more of a day trade. What about more of a swing trade? Well, I'm going to show you on a swing trade. I'm going to zoom out, and we're going to look at program trading. You got some sellers out here at 230, 225, 220. Honestly, we're not seeing any big buyers up until about 200. Now, you're probably sitting there like, oh, that's like $9. So what are you telling me, Fausto? Should I sell it now? I'm not telling you to sell anything. I'm just showing you where the buyers are. That's your decision. 
You think it's going to bounce here? Okay, that's your decision. I'm telling you, unless somebody, unless we get another hundred thousand share buyer out there and it doesn't get executed, I'm all, I'm not seeing until the next buyer until two hundred. Okay, how do you know if the guy got executed? That's a great question, uh, Kathleen. Um, now, but my question to you, Kathleen, is this: Who trained you? Are you self-taught? Did you take a class with somebody? Did you take a paid course with someone? Who trained you? Kathleen, don't worry. Nobody can read. Nobody knows who you are. Nobody's going to rat you out. Okay? Because that is trading 101. Okay? Well, time and sales. What you're seeing right here, now it's moving really fast. Okay? This is time and sales. These are the transactions that take place right here. You see these bars right here? You see these balls? That tells me those are time and sales. That's more of a simpler way that you don't have to micromanage and see these numbers go crazy. So you could just work off that. So we, we well, the way we teach our traders is like, okay, we could see if there's more buyers or sellers. So we'll know if he gets executed. And if anyone here has taken a class, anyone, that's the first thing they should have been teaching you is time and sales. Okay. And time and sales means the time the transaction took place and that and the sale is at was it on the bid or the offer? Very, very simple. By the way, a chart gets his data from time and sales. Just to let you know. All right. Now, any other questions? My God, we're already past 40 minutes. We're out of time. Oh my God, we're out of time. I know people have to go, but we're not out of time. I still got I, I got. I want to get everyone registered. Who here would like to watch this live in the market? Who here would like to join me and show you exactly how to use that NASDAQ book viewer, how to get level four, see the pre-markets, see how these algorithms actually happen? Absolutely good. You're in the right place. Because this is why Cybertrain University has been endorsed, you know, um, in the industry and and you know and sponsored by more brokerage firms and exchanges than any educational school in the industry. And that is something that you should always look into before you take a course, anyone. See who endorses them. And listen, you can do all the homework you want, okay? I had someone the other day come to me and say, Fausto, I heard I read something bad about you in the internet. I'm like, yeah, by who? By Nat, oh, I read it on some chat room. Oh, really? Oh, I know that guy, He's in, he's a competitor. Of course, he's going to write something. Did you read it on NASDAQ? Did you read it on Tasty Trade? Did you read it on Ninja uh, Thinkorswim? Because let me tell you something. These brokerage firms do background checks on us. You think they want us Think they want us to teach uh, people out there, you know, that they're, that they're losing money? You know, that's not that's not the big thing. So, but before you do that, if anyone takes training, make sure you do your homework. This is why here at Cybertrain University, we have a five, we have a 4.9 because one person, one competitor wrote something stupid. Uh, but I we have a five star five star rating on Google, okay, and that's what really really helps. Now, what I want to do is this: I want to invite all of you to come into my trading room. Now, my trading room, we do live trades from eight o'clock in the morning to four thirty in the afternoon. You're all invited. Now, the goal is I'm not I don't want you to buy anything or anything. I just want you to come whenever you have some free time and just see what we're doing. And see how we taught other people to think for themselves. Okay. Well, you know, we're not here to tell you what to buy and sell. We're here to teach you how to think for yourself. If you're looking for somebody to give you stock picks, we're not the right person. If you were here looking for someone to tell you where to get in and out, that's illegal unless they're registered. We don't do that. What we do is we teach you where to, where to find these orders and how to have a game plan. Because that's how you become very successful in trading. So we start live commentary from 9 to 10.30. We go into the afternoon from 2.30 to 4. So we, we have multiple instructors. I'm in there trading with my traders. You'll be in there with me. We're going to have some fun. And you're going to see some of these stocks that we've traded. And knowing how they work and how they go up and down. How to trade like a true market maker. We also have other gurus that will come in there. And if you're into, you know, listen to other perspectives, maybe you do futures, crypto, whatever it is. We always, we, we're very well connected with a lot of other educational advisors in the school, uh, in the industry. And we always invite them to be guests at CTU. Now this is the deal. What is it going to cost? 
Get your phone right now. And, and this is what you need to do or copy that link. I am only going to charge you $9 to be in my room for one week. That's it. And I'm not going to charge you, you know, you know, later, whatever it is. This is all it's going to cost you is $9. Now, let me tell you why it's going to cost $9. Forget about the $15 on BookBeal, okay? This is even cheaper. $9 money back guarantee. Okay, let me tell you why I'm charging nine. Because people are like, that doesn't make any sense. $9, why so cheap? I'll tell you why it's cheap. I can buy you in the room for free. But I'm not looking for free people, okay? This this basically weeds out the free people and the serious people, okay? I'm looking for serious traders. I don't know who you are. I don't know where you came from. I don't know anything about you. And the only way we're able to work with you is to make a small investment and register uh, for this class. Now, th this is what you're going to get for the nine bucks, okay? You're going to get my book. You can go to Amazon, pay $47, or I'll give it to you for free, $9. That's what you're going to get. You're also going to get one week in the trading room. You're going to get three pro workshops. You're going to get Traders Talk Library. And you know what I'm going to throw in as a bonus? If you register right now, the first 20 people register, and you know no one has ever done this before, you're going to talk to me on the phone. I'm going to actually pick up the phone. We're going to make an appointment after you've been in the trading room. And I'm going to answer your questions in great detail. Why would I do that? Why would I, I mean, like, how do I, like, why would Fausto spend for $9? I mean, that's ridiculous. I mean, you must make more money than that. I don't care about the $9. I am looking for traders that I could teach and we could trade together, and make money together. Listen, my goal is to teach you. Eventually, you can go out there and teach other people. And you can come back and say, oh, yeah, I learned from Cyber Trading University. Or I was one of their traders. You know, there's a lot of people that went to work at Goldman Sachs, the godfather of Wall Street. They opened up their own brokerage firms down the road. BlackRock, where do you think he came from? You know, you think he just decided, oh, they just became a big institution. They learned from other traders. I want you to be someone like that, okay? Um, but I'm looking for serious traders. And if you don't have $9, and honestly, traders, you should not be trading. It's money back guaranteed. I'll give you $9 back at the end of the week if you feel like I waste your time. But- I'm willing to give you all this content because I have a passion that I hate to see people lose money. So know what you're getting yourself involved in before you do it. I know a lot of you went out there taking courses with other people, spent several thousands of dollars to do it, found out it was the wrong training program. You probably, if you did a $9 trial, you would have thought twice before you did that, right? Well, here's your chance. You're going to learn the good and the ugly. OK, some of you guys heard some bad things about it. Worst thing, I'm going to tell you the great things about it. This is why we've been ranked and had a great reputation in the industry. So here's your opportunity to do it. Um, Alan, thank you very much for sharing that. Um, Alan, basically copy and write that in there. Uh, Alan, just, you know, like I said, we're trying to try to copy and paste. Anyone puts any notes in there. Uh, appreciate it. Well worth it. Right, Alan. Thank you very much for being there and endorsing us. Now, um, what else I got here? Yeah, that's the link right there. Just take your phone and scan it. Now, this is now this is important, everybody. A lot of you here, when you register, we're going to, um, you're going to fill out a questionnaire. Let us know a little bit about you. Do do Are you trading live now? What's your style? Do you have a brokerage account? How'd you hear about us? Did you take any training courses? We only ask about five questions. The next page, what you're going to get is you're going to make an appointment. Every single one of you, are going to be able to talk to an education advisor. We're going to do a walkthrough with you. We want you to have the best experiences possible when you come to the trading room. So when you come in the trading room, at least you know what you know. At least you know um, who you're talking to and and know what you're seeing. So you're like, oh, I don't know what the hell's going on. What's this section and this section? That you know what I mean. So that's all going to be covered. Um, now I am getting a couple of uh, concerns in here. People are asking me, Fausto, when could I start? It's a great question. You should start right away. But if you can't, when you talk to education advisor, you got that calendar, just book it when you're ready to start it. But the thing is this, start now. Um, you could, if you want to start next week, I, one of you said, I got go, I got surgery next week. That's fine. No problem. Book it after your surgery, whatever it is, but just lock in the $9 now. 
because this is an exclusivity that we're doing because we might, you know, we're just doing a quick promo now. And you know what? I could always do it later. All right. Um, now, a couple of shout outs really quick right here. I got a bunch of people that just registered. Uh, Toon Dunk from Oregon. I got your registration. Welcome aboard. Uh, Andreas from Washington, D.C. I got your registration. Welcome aboard. Who else we got here registered? Robert S. from Arizona. Appreciate the vote of confidence. John J. I guess that was you. One, uh, what was it? Uh, Galag. Is that you? Got your registration. Welcome aboard from Washington State. Uh, who else we got here? A couple other people here. Mike from Chicago. Got your registration. I see all you guys registering now. Now, I got about a couple of more minutes before we go as you guys are registering. Guys, it's $9. You know what? I spent thousands, you know, to pay just to get the data. I had to take off and, and work for free. Here, you're going to learn the real truth about trading. If you're sick and tired of, listen, Social Security is not paying enough. We know that. A lot of you work for your pension. You don't want to blow that thing up. You're not there to, you know, live off it. You're there to build on it. This is a great job. You, you, it, you, you get the convenience, the freedom. That you can come and go whenever you please, but you got to know how to play the game. And you got to only learn. Listen, a lot of you had jobs in the past. You work for people. The way you learn, you know, you're like, oh man, I wish I worked for that company. They're so great. Those guys are doing so good. Here's your chance. This is your chance right now, you know, to go out there and figure out the real truth than, go, than going out there and learning the hard way. And the hard way is blowing up your account. Um, a couple of emails, questions coming here. Fausto, hey, um, I have a, a moment. Can you uh, show INP on level three and level four? Are you confident? Yeah, I'll show that for you. Hold on. Let me bring it up. Absolutely. Uh, what symbol is that? Uh, INDP. INDP. Let me bring it up over here. INDP. Yeah, INDP. I would not trade this stock. I don't know what we're looking at, but stock's not going anywhere. Stock traded 11,000 shares. I would never trade it. You could see there's no orders out there. This is def. I don't know if you guys as a swing trade, but as a day trade, absolutely not. You can't make money on a stock like this. The way you make money is you got to trade stocks that have volatility in it. And we show you how to go through the big percentage gainers. That's where, you know, that's where you make your money. Like, like Mara. Mara had a good move this morning. It went from 920 to 1040 and came back down. You know, traded 70 million shares. If you look at the iceberg orders out there, and I'll bring Mara and I'll just show you what I'm talking about. This is a stock that we traded today. Look at this. Big iceberg order right here, right? At 1050. That's why it came back down. And then you have what's called a ladder effect that started right around 920. And you could see how the guy bid it, he bid it and bid it. And look how the stock, when it went, when it hit a price of 930, now it's at 960. How many shares is that, fellow traders? Oh, about 226,000 shares. Okay. How much better and smarter trading decisions if you were able to see that in your trading and knowing, oh, makes sense why the stock bounced right there. Okay. And hell, if I knew it was out there, I would have bought it there and I would have probably made that 30 cents also. That's what trading is all about. A um, couple of more shout outs out here. Uh, Bill, got your registration from um, California. Walton, got your registration. Welcome aboard. Anyone else have any questions? Any other questions? Guys, what's, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? It's right smack in the middle of your face. You're talking $9 for one week, you know, in the longest running trading room in the industry. Actually, I started the first trading room in the industry. Here Now you see them pop up everywhere. Where do you think they learn? Some of them are my students, okay? Guess what? Maybe one day you could do the same, but you got to learn somewhere. It's never too late to stop learning. Okay. Uh, please contact us. Uh, yes. Once again, yes. When you register, you're going to have that. You're going to have a um, an area where you're going to click to book your appointment. You know, like I said, they, they, there's over 100 people. They book in fast. So faster you get in there, the faster you can book it. Just book it sooner than later. And you know what? If you don't, if you don't know what, if you don't know what time, you can always change it later. Just lock in something now. All right. I tried a few moments ago. Didn't have time to take advantage of it. Can I try again, Douglas? Absolutely. 
Absolutely. Listen, we're not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere. Listen, I, I'm, I'm looking to plan to be here for the next 30 years. Okay. And keep doing it. Uh, a couple more shout outs right here. Gary Glassman. Yeah, I'll show you. Look, here's all the registrations. I'm not, I'm not BSing you. Gary, got your registration. Welcome aboard. Uh, who is this right here? Terrence B. from, who is that? No, Minnesota, I believe. I guess so. I'm, got your registration. Uh, Johnny P. from Texas, got your registration. See all you guys registering right now. Welcome aboard. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks, everybody, for your looking, really looking forward for you guys to be in the room. By the way, let me show you the room. Maybe you guys are asking me this, okay? Let me show you here. Here's the room, you know? So right now that you could see right here, these are all the traders on the left-hand side. And um, you could see these are our instructors, me, Alex, Josh, John, Greg, Rich. Um, right here in the middle, we're, we're, we're posting our watch list. We're talking trade. Now, this is a slow time of the day, so not that much going on. Um, right now, that they're, they're looking at UVXY because the market's obviously taking a little bit of a hit today. So this is the opposite. So they're trading. We're seeing live data, you know, but most of the action happens early in the morning. You know, that's usually when it happens. Any other questions, guys? I got to go. Gotta, gotta, I got to get ready for the market. Um, I got to eat lunch quick and then I'm going to hop on trade in the afternoon. Margaret, you're more than welcome. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right. But listen. $9, money back guarantee, one week in the trading room. To answer one of your questions, no, we will not bill you after seven days. We don't play that stupid game. I don't need the scrutiny. You don't want to continue with Cyber Trade University? Believe me, we don't want you in the room. We don't, we don't need your money, okay? I need people that are, that, that are hungry, people that like trading, people know you can make money in trading, and people want to learn how to trade the right way. That's what I'm looking for. But I'm looking for serious traders and that's the reason for the small investment, um, you know, of the nine dollars out there. Listen, I could charge nine hundred. I know some of you guys would pay for it. I'm not looking for it. I could charge nine thousand. I'm only looking for nine dollars just to prove as an application fee that you say who you are. Uh, Kononosis, uh, that's you. I guess that's the basically that's the one I got you from Greece. Ah, I live in a very big. My best friend is Greek. Um, Gus Panopoulos. I know all. The, I I know so many Greeks out there. We got a couple of them in our trading room. Caesar, just got your registration. Uh, where are you from? The Philippines, is that it? Got your registration. Welcome aboard. Who else? Thanks a lot, Kathleen. Thank you very much. All right, guys, let's get ready to back into the market. Now, listen, um, the faster you booked your appointment, the faster you get into the trading room. I know a lot of you are excited. Uh, we're going to give you access immediately. So if you're registered, don't worry about it. If your appointment's getting booked, you got our number. You could always call us if you want to change. Um, let me give our number. It's 877-70-CYBER. If you want to change your um, time or whatever it is, you can always give us a call and you can always do that too. And we put that's the direct number too. Thanks a lot. All right, traders. Thanks for listening. Look forward to seeing you in the trading room. And if you didn't sign up, don't worry about it. I won't take it personal. Maybe you're just not ready yet, but just please keep in mind. You got to go out there and you got to take classes for a few people because you need to find out what works best for you. Don't spend a lot of money. You could probably will down the road, but go out there and try a little bit of everything and see how everyone else does. Do your homework, do your research on them, but you all have to learn how to trade. You can't learn this on YouTube. You can't learn this on your own. You got to learn how to, you got to learn with a team. So look forward to seeing you all. If you will, if you're not ready now, we'll see you soon. But for everyone else, I look extremely excited to see everybody in the room because I'm looking forward to show you how to trade today's volatile markets and how to trade on level three, level four. Good luck, everyone. See you in the trading room.